Douglas in New York writes to me, I just bought a vintage PS Audio 5.0 preamp for my turntable. Nice. That, yep, the 5.0, that, that, that was a beauty. But someone just told me there's no output capacitors on that model and that I should not connect it to my Class A Cap 151 amp or I will blow it up or ruin my speakers or both. Yikes. I didn't believe this, but found a number of conversations online that say you have to install input capacitors on your amp if you want to use this preamp. Could that be true? Well, if it is true, we're all in deep doo-doo. We haven't made a preamplifier since the 5.0 that has an output capacitor, and that's been 30 years? Every single preamplifier since the 5.0 that we have designed and built has no input capacitors and no output capacitors. And you know what? We haven't blown up anybody's amp yet. So maybe we should work on that. <laughs> That'd be good for amp sales. <laughs> Hook this up and blow it up. Um, all right, look, here's the thing. If the preamp is working properly, no, of course it's not going to blow up your, your amp or harm your speakers. Now, if something is wrong with the amp, oh well, yeah, that, that would be true with any uh, preamplifier in, in the world. So I think somebody must have had something go haywire. I mean, that, that thing is old, but it was a cool preamplifier. That preamplifier was the first one. I designed that whole thing from soup to nuts. I did the PC board. I did everything on it. And it, it was completely direct coupled. It was cool. Uh, you know, e even a modern day amplifier, by the way, if, if you were to connect it up to one of our amplifiers, we have circuitry, and of course we're not alone, but we have circuitry in here that senses DC, which is the problem that he's referring to. Um, and, whoa, DC, cut it off, and it would just shut it off. You're not gonna blow anything up. It may be an amp of that vintage. I mean, we did make amplifiers way back when, like the 200C, that had a direct input. And God help you, if you did put DC into it, it would, it would blow the fuses on the amp. It would wreak all kinds of havoc. But that's a long time ago. So long story short, direct coupled is the way to go. If it's working properly, do not worry about it. Okay? All right. Good luck. Thanks.